ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again. And I'm a little worn out this morning. This is, I think, the 23rd of January, 2018, right here in Woodbury, Minnesota. And in my location, we got close to 13 inches of snow last night. We already had some. My snow blow isn't working. I'm darn near 70 years old, and I got snow outside all the way up to my waist. And if that's not enough, the snow off the street's been piled in front of my driveway, so I got to dig all of that out in order to be able to get out of here today, kids go to school. <clears throat> on the, so on the, and on top of that, I remember just a couple of years ago, I ran for uh, mayor of the city of Woodbury. And one of the things that I promised the people is that when snow come along like this, you got a lot of people who are old who can't shovel their snow, and if they had snow blowers, they couldn't run them for that well. But I promised them as, as mayor, I would work out something so that each of them would have that problem eliminated. Uh, but it wasn't good enough. So I'm going to take this moment to talk to the poor people. Poor people, let me tell you something. You've been robbed. You've been robbed. And you allowed it to happen. You didn't know any better. So I guess there was nothing else for you to do but let it happen. But now I'm going to tell you that it has happened. And it's going to continue. The evidence of it is that I was as you were listening to the United States of America, <coughs> the White House, they are actually saying that they want people to, rather than just let, as that Statue of Liberty says, give me your poor, give me your downtrodden, give me your people that need help where everybody has thrown them out, send them over here, we'll take care of them. Now the White House is led with people who are saying, we don't want those folks anymore. Give us your geniuses. We want all the geniuses to come to America. And we're going to make America so fantastic and so great because we got all these geniuses here. And after we've made America so great, so fantastic with all these geniuses here that came from Germany, that came from everywhere else in the world, and the people have nothing left but poverty and struggling, and they look for some other place to go, say the United States, we're going to close the door and say they can't come here because they're too ignorant, too stupid. We don't want them. And we're sitting here with all the advancements in technology from their people. So I say to the people everywhere in the world, especially in the poor countries, if you got some talent, use it right there. Don't go anyplace else. Use it right there for your people and for your kind. And to heck with anybody that try to rob you and steal your people so they can laugh at you. And Americans, I'm going to tell you, every last one of you, we have said for a long time America is the greatest nation on the face of the earth. Now, I've been a few places, but I ain't been that many. And I don't know whether it's true or not. But I tell you right now, this morning America is sick. America is in the cesspool. You talking about Trump talking about we going to clean out the cesspool? He took America right down in the middle of the cesspool. He's not satisfied with the poverty that this nation holds. He want to make sure that all of the rich, and let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking to you. Donald Trump couldn't do one thing without you. Your politicians that you got up there in Washington and any state legislative halls, they are working just for you. And every ugly, low-down, dirty thing that happens to the people, it happens in your name especially the poor people, the people who have to sell their bodies to get some money just to live. I know you don't like it, but that's what they have to do to survive. And what's your answer? Put them in jail. Take their kids and give somebody else the money to raise their kids while they stick you in a hole somewhere at the shelter. They don't want you to have a job. You can't go to school because they don't need you in school. You don't have any health care because they don't want you to have health care. What benefit do you give America when it's trying to be the number one nation in the world? If you poor, you don't mean nothing. You're a burden to America. They want you to get your butt out. So I say to you, all of you poor people in America, I don't want you to think that this is just Donald Trump. This is everybody in the United States who got a job. They do not give a shit about you. Oh, I know they say, oh, we, oh, we donated to charity. We gave up some food. Oh, yeah, people got a little niceness in them. They got a little niceness in them. It came with a lot as a kid. But it's been robbed out of them. And it doesn't take anybody with just a little taste of love to know that this nation stinks. And I've asked Minnesota to make me the replacement senator from the United, from, for, for the United States Senator from Minnesota. Can they do that? Yes, they can do that. Will they do that? Hell no, they won't do it. Why? First of all, I'm black. They won't do it. Next of all, I'm poor. I, I don't, let me see. I don't have a bank account. That's another reason why they won't do it. And the reason why they don't, won't do it beyond that, because they're blind as a bat. 
the governor's blind, the late state legislature is blind, the mayor is blind, and everybody that goes to work every day looking at the poor people and putting them down ain't worth a shit. And I want to say it just like that. Because I know you don't want people to talk about God, so I'm not going to talk about God anymore. I'm not going to say what God wants because any fool comes up with a better chance of getting what they want than God. So I'm going to tell you, this is what I want. I don't want no more people, poor people in this country. Every doggone thing in this darn United States of America belongs to me. All the mineral resources, everything that's in the earth that's worth anything. The water, the air, everything in the United States belongs to me. And I share it with everybody in the United States of America. I share it with everybody. Everything that the United States is worth, I share it with you. Not so you can hoard stuff, but that your dreams might be met and that you might live in this body during a prosperous time by the power of me and you. Now, so you say there ain't no God, there might not be no God for you. So, let me leave for, for my wife coming in and hit me side here with a stick.